Hi, I'm Wade Gravita and behind me is a new pumper recently built for Princeton, Illinois. This truck is built on a Spartan MetroStar chassis, features a stainless steel rear mount pumper body, a 1250 GPM Watrous fire pump, foam pro system, and Watrous compressed air foam. Just a few things about the front of this truck. You can see we have an extended uh, severe duty front bumper covered with the Chevron graphics, air horns in the bumper, a Q siren on top, and then an LED road array uh, right below the windshield. In this case, we mounted the siren on a tip forward pedestal, allowing the cab to be tilted as well. The cab selection on this MetroStar chassis is an ELFD with a 10 inch raised roof. So it's the, it's the longest cab that Spartan offers. And then the, this has a 10 inch roof, so it's got like 63, 64 inches of interior height, floor to ceiling. Uh, they do make a flat roof, a five inch, th this 10 inch, and then a 20 and a 24 inch raised roof. This customer went with the barrier style doors, so you can uh, clear a barrier uh, rather than the full length doors. And then we added some stirrup steps as well below the cab. What might stand out on this cab to you is that the uh, compartment behind the crew doors is actually full height rather than lower level. That's because they don't have any seating inside over that compartment and they really wanted some nice uh, tall storage on the exterior. We have it uh, reverse hinged in this case so it's easy to access from leaving the cab and the height of this compartment allows a Stokes basket, backboards, uh, you could even stand up some uh, struts like uh, maybe Paratex style struts which really should be standing up when you're storing them. So this is what we would call a four segment body. Uh, really the forward section is, is just too long to do with one door. We already have quite a wide roll up door here ahead of the rear axle. And you know they really wanted that forward compartment dedicated to uh, primarily the pre-connects. And they, uh, this customer wanted the pre-connects at a certain height, uh, ideal for grabbing the hose, pulling over your shoulder, and walking away from the truck. They didn't want them any lower than they are right here. And later on, you'll see how that uh, requirement uh, caused us to do some special design uh, layouts and packaging on this truck. But starting with the front compartment, we do have some fixed rollers which will protect the door jams for hose deployment. The compartment immediately ahead of the rear wheels you can see is quite wide, it's full depth and uh, what we call full height and in there we have adjustable shelving, a large rollout tray and then uh, some duplex uh, outlets uh, flush fit into the compartment bulkheads. And then over the rear wheels we have a tilt out tray, uh, you can see their uh, refill wand is up there right now. And then in the wheel well we have a compartment for three air bottles above the fuel fill and then another uh, compartment which will carry fire extinguishers. On this truck it's kind of neat we did polished stainless steel usually they're brushed or painted job color but this is a pretty nice touch and uh, we'll probably be doing that in the future. In the rear driver's side compartment obviously the pump panel uh, the customer had a lot of interaction uh, with us as we built this truck to make sure that the the layout of the panel and the configuration uh, meets their uh, needs and kind of the for the uniformity in their fleet. All right, looking at the back of the truck, uh, obviously a rear mount fire pump. So we have a large diameter intake and then a large diameter outlet and a two and a half inch outlet on the back panel of the truck. There's a pretty good sized removable panel around the rear intake that just is for you know service and maintenance. You also notice the three hinge doors. The lower one obviously housing the ladders and pike poles. The upper one uh, in the middle is just a service and inspection maintenance door, what have you, for the fire pump system. And then in the upper officer side rear corner, we have a couple troughs for slide in storage of hard hose uh, with a pre attached strainer. From the top of the apparatus body, I'll describe a few things on this truck. First of all, we have coffin compartments on both sides. Pretty standard affair, uh, hinge lids, uh, floor drains, and LED lighting inside. Um, within the hose bed itself, it's again a fairly normal hose bed. Uh, they have a wind deflector and a cargo net on the back rather than a full cover. And then uh, towards the driver's side of the hose bed, there's a two and a half inch swivel in the floor uh, for pre-connect. Um, and then another thing that I guess caught my eye is that the deluge discharge has a uh, auxiliary discharge control up at the gun. 
Um, these are Akron can bust electric valves, so that allows us to have multi-point controls for these. And they have one up here so they don't have to hop up and down or have the pump operator manage the flow to the, de to the deluge. And then it is an Akron high riser manual deck gun. At the front of the hose bed, there's a nice size dunnage area where we have the foam and water tank stacks. This truck is 33 feet long, 10 foot 8 inches high, and weighs 38,000 pounds with water. Obviously they're going to be putting a lot of equipment and hose on this truck, but it's got some pretty nice uh, dimensions overall. Behind me here, uh, you have more compartmentation just like the driver's side with the exception of the, the pump panel, which is not here, of course. And then um, we have a, a box throughout the body for the ladders to slide into. As I mentioned earlier, they needed to clear the speed lays, so they run right underneath. The speed lays are at the desired height uh, up above them. And you can see that they utilize the entire length of the body. In the wheel wells, we have a couple uh, additional compartments for two fire extinguishers and three air bottles. And then we have a variety of shelving rollout trays and a swing out tool board. Hey, we all understand that there's a lot of options when you're looking for a new fire truck. Princeton, Illinois understood that as well. We'd love to hear from you if you're in the market for a new apparatus. I'm Wade Cravita with Custom Fire. You can find us at customfire.com or on Facebook. Thanks for watching.